the cave. Edmond Dantes. Things are looking a little better here. Pretty soon, we might see the steps that are hiding right here. I ain't seen the steps in a long time. But there's a lot of sand gone. But the tide's not too low. I thought the tide is low in about an hour, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Well, the first target's a nine. As soon as we turn the detector on. When you got it in the water, it's a nine. I imagine a nine is going to be a fine ticket, all right? Sounds like a bottle cap right now. Uh, I guess it's not. If I ever find it, that is. bottle cap. I could tell it was a bottle cap. A rusty one too. Okay Edmond, I'm coming out there buddy. Find me some tickethitos. I was really sanded it in bad. All over. I don't think I'm gonna be here very long. I'll go down there to that pipe. Well, target number two is a 13. Started out at 17, a second scoop is a 13. I just dug a penny, so I got two targets. That's two targets if I get this one out of I don't think we got it. I think it's a piece of iron down there. There's a piece of iron right there. But it does read better now at 15. Because we got it that time. See no 15s. If it fell through. Ah, I see nothing. That can be a 15. Just let it fall down there and scan over it. Nope. We'll try to hold one more time. Still rocks. Rocks only. Okay. I'll get back to you. Well, I took two more pennies. I mean, one more penny, then I got this and fell through two times, a bullet. But it sounded so good, I wanted to find it. Sheer blind luck. We almost got like an outer bar here. You can see it's almost dried up right there by the pipe. You see how yellow the water is? It's shallow. No improvements on tickets. Got my high tone sound supposed to be in my scoop now.
I don't see anything. Oh, I see it. A cruddy, kind of a cruddy penny. I got three pennies now. I'm on the other side of the pipe now. I moved over here about five minutes ago. That's the first target on this side. That's a beach sweeper. It's called a surf rig. Virginia Beach uses three of those. They start about two o'clock in the morning. Norfolk does them during the morning when there's lots of people around. Well, I'm going to turn around here, work my way back to the truck, and make a move. You see, it's kind of got rocky. They replenished this beach and covered all these rocks up, if you remember, a couple years ago. But it's back to normal now. Almost back to normal. I see something in the water right there. It looks like a fishing lure. You see it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that's a lure now. <laughs> well, I'm going to make my way back to the cave along the lower drop-off right here. I hunted sort of like in the middle going down. Let's see if there's anything in this little drop-off right through here. Well, I got some gray matter with double fish hooks. That'd have been nice in somebody's feet, double fish hooks. So I did good today. Well, I'm headed, I don't know if I'm going home or I'm gonna make one more stop. I got the mumbles. The cave gave me the mumbles. That don't happen often. I'll think about it on my way home. Well, when I got home, I had knives waiting. And some fancy bag looking thing here. Ever ride. Ever pride of me. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we got three on this side of the case. And two on that side of the case. Five we got to work on. I'll get back to you. Well, there they are. We got a douse room. A hinkle, I mean, uh, yeah, a hinkle, and two Wustoffs, and a homemaker. And Boo Boo! What are you doing, Boo Boo? You're a big Boo Boo. Well, it's Wednesday morning now, about 9.30. We're going over here to the bay. We had such a poor day yesterday at the cave. We got the mumbles, left, came home. Here's what we ended up with yesterday. One fishing rig. You saw that, two hooks. You saw me retrieve that. I got uh, three pennies, a bullet, two bottle caps, and a snap. I hope it's better today. I only got about two hours because I got to get ready to go to the farmer's market. The tide's low in three, so we have plenty of time. And it's hot as blazes. I'll see you. Stand by. Look at that. If nobody claims that, we'll have that on the way home. A treasure for Jack. He'll be happy. Not that he needs it, but he'll be happy. Well, it looks good. I should have been here yesterday. So that damn adventure I made yesterday. God. I'll get back to you. Water's not very clear today. I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's usually a little clearer. Don't get me wrong. It's not like Florida, but it's usually better. Now the second target is a Chop 11. First piece was a little brass copper thing that fell through three times.
Apparently this is falling through too because I don't see anything in there. We try to hold one more time. I hear some iron now. Okay, onward we go. You see it's almost dry now, It'll be dry in a minute. It's not wide, so I'm hunting in and out. iron here thirteen. I see nothing but rocky. But it did fall through right there. And it's still reading 13. See if we can save that, see what that is. Whatever it is, it's right there. Oh, that's a fishing swivel. I saved it. Yay, baby. A scratchy kind of nine. Our shore lane is uh, kind of active today. I like the offshore lane. Let's see if we got this nine. It fell through already. Ah. Stay in there, baby. I got it. I thought we had it. Apparently it fell through in transport. I can tell you we're not gonna go looking for it though. The slough is coming to an end like it did the other day. You see it gets really narrow down that way. See some iron. Got a strong 25. Damn, it's a dime. Got it all that iron. Look. First corner of the day. Look at that. More keys. With a lock on it, with a name. Kind in bad shape though. Well, here's where it goes and comes at right here. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Makes a turn and goes down through there and continues up that way. I'm headed that way. No, this way. Excuse me. I got excited. Well, all the cuts are gone. I moved offshore to the drop off. So I'm going to turn around in a few minutes and hunt back somewhat deeper.
little sting right here if I can catch him. He's flying though. Oh, he's gone. Not not a bull ray like we saw the other day, a true stingray. Okay, we're just just a bull screen deep. Well, I'm almost back to the home zone. And I haven't had a hit a target out here yet. But I've got faith. I'm not going in yet. Finally a 14. First first target. One scoop off, it's gone up a digit, it's 15 now. light bulb bottle 14 15 first target in the deep well my second target is a fishing lure I got ready not to dig it it was really choppy and if I hadn't dug it I wouldn't have missed anything but there it is well the offshore highway is uh, looking extremely good right now I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a good taquito. Well, we're at the ramp. There's a ramp to go up. Damn, here comes Bo Dirk again. Hello, Bo. Pretty good timing, I think. Uh-oh, we got a hit. 24. Right here on top of the highway. Ah, nice old penny. A penny. Oh, well, it might be a dime. There you go. Yeah, ten dimes. As we drop in the abyss. <laughs> Iron. Okay. Well, there it is. There's the best of it. Still there when we got back. Exercise only. See you at the farmer's market.